Hey guys, um, I titled this message, We Are His Choice to Be His Voice for the Born and the Unborn. There's more to this message than just that, but it was about six, maybe six to eight months ago, um, and the Lord was dealing with me about it. And he said, make sure you put born first in that. And I was like, okay, God, so I, you know, nothing wrong with questioning. Because really, honestly, guys, that's part of prayer. What we do, we go to God and we ask for directions. It's how you do it, why you do it, of course. Your real motive, your real heart, it's a, if it's a heart issue, pure heart, of course. If it's not, you're not going to probably get the answer you want for one, or you, you just, it's just not going to work. It's going to be some diluted direction, but it's time that we're his voice, guys. What's he telling you to do? And voice doesn't necessarily mean speaking. It could be actions. It could be directions to going someplace. It could be... Just bringing your voice to God in your secret place. All of them are really, really, really important, guys. <clears throat> but the reason why I'm putting this out now is because the Lord told me to. So I have to be obedient to Him. Because you know what? At the end of the day, guys, I'm going to be the one standing before Him and He's going to ask me, what did I do? with what he'd given me. You guys too. Men, women, children. So, <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's time, this is just one of many issues of course. <clears throat> but I put it out there. How God sees America concerning abortion. Look at the video. The other one is it is the other one is it is about choice. Choose Jesus, life, not death. Put that out on a lot of this abortion garbage stuff. If the comedians can say how they think that they're God and all this other garbage and all this other hogwash, <clears throat> great. But no more debates, guys. If you watch that video, we as the body have let this go. We've been silent. I hadn't looked it up yet. I'm going to, but there are many of y'all that are my age. Remember that song, The Sound of Silence? 10,000 people, maybe more. Man, listen to that song. I was just kind of replaying it a little bit in my mind. I was like, man, I need to revisit that song. No more silence, guys. And this kind of goes along with it. I put this out there because this is part of the voice, but a whole different issue, probably. Not really, but all this stuff about, you know, the NRA, the gun laws, the Second Amendment. Yes, we should be able to. I agree. But where was all the outrage? An uproar when they started taking Bibles out of the school. Go pick one, go to some public schools and, you know, some of you might get by with it a little bit, but most of them, no. <clears throat> Even the courthouses, some of the courthouses, if you go down with your Bible and start preaching the name of Jesus, you'll get kicked out probably by the sheriff. <clears throat> Airports. It's not cool. It's not cool to carry a Bible anymore. But yet we can tell everybody to carry guns to protect yourselves. Your real protection comes from the Word of God, guys. The Holy Ghost, guys. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, His Word. Seems a little contrary, I get it. It's not. 
know, it's time that we are as voice, guys, that we just stand up, and we need to stand up on this issue, but at the same time, quit slapping labels, because labels are easy, it's just, you know, a convenient way of, you know, <clears throat> that's hogwash, too, honestly. The real issue behind the lies of the abortion issue, yes, it is murder, but the enemy's behind it all, guys. What he tried to do in Moses' time, Jesus' time, and this is an outpouring coming of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, and he didn't know who it's going to be. Remember, that's why the part about the born is already there. They may already be there. Well, guess what? We are. Elijah, mighty man of God, hiding in a cave. What are you doing here? I'm it, kind of, you know, and I die, you know. Man, God's like, no, 7,000 haven't even bowed a knee to Baal. If you're hearing my voice, you you're probably one of his chosen, honestly. And it's not because of me, guys. It's because you're 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 looking for direction. There's a lot of really good there's a lot of really good men and women of God getting this word out. I'm not it. Not even trying to be it. I'm just a watchman, guys. I'm one of the watchmen standing on the wall crying foul ball on this issue that we're his voice for the born and the unborn. <clears throat> and I'll put this plug in for it. I haven't got to the real meat and potatoes of it yet, but I have tried the spirit and I like what I see so far. One of the groups is called CareNet. There's other ones, LifeNet's one. There's other ones on there that seem, you know, those are just a piece of it. But imagine if the church got behind this issue, really got behind it, and became their voice. Instead of all this vain debate and gathering these people in, Bring them into the household. Bring them into the fall. Preach to them about Jesus. Get them saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> Go buy them a $5,000 car so they can get back and forth. Put them in school. Give them a job. Help get them educated so they can take care of that child. And guess what? Don't forget the dad. Because we're quick to... The, the woman kind of gets the brunt of this attack of this debate, of this guilt and shame, too. <clears throat> Think about this, okay, guys, and I'm going to end with this, and I'm going to end with this one scripture. <clears throat> okay, what's it been, 40 million aborted babies in America since, since Roe versus Wade? An ungodly law that we just kind of just... Oh, well, it is what it is. No, it's not it is what it is. Prayer can change things, guys. Our voice can change things, guys. That's why I put on their time is holy, even in politics. I don't want to be political. I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm saying who to pray for. That we get men and women of God that will stand up for the truth. Wouldn't you rather have somebody like that in the office? making some of these laws than all this ungodly stuff that we just kind of just turned a blind eye to. <clears throat> Be his voice. I talk, you know, we can get on a soapbox. I, I get it. And it can swing, the, the pendulum can swing the other way. That's where bringing it to be informed and prayer and supplication is so important. Your secret place, your voice to God, and what you're getting. Who's your source? God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Okay, and then portray it into the world. Bring it out. It's time to stand up, guys. Rise and shine and be His voice. Be that light. We're not going to be His light 
in the darkness. We're not going to be his light and be a friend of the world. We're not going to be his light. And instead of church, it's a rock concert or entertainment or how many seats we've, we've built or how many millions we've got saved. <clears throat> Honestly. Even, you know, some of the stuff that people portray, it's like, great, awesome, I love healing. I need some myself. We all, some, a lot of us do. <clears throat> but the real miracle is to that person that's been healed. Sometimes it can go to the opposite extreme and be a shazam and look at me. <clears throat> that's not his voice. That's our own voice. <clears throat> Sometimes it's even the enemy's voice. That's where that prayer and supplication in that secret place and bringing it before God, before the altar, before the throne of grace, glory, and mercy, before him, before he starts spitting stuff out. So yes, we have to be his voice, but we also have to be his voice using James 3.17 or others, Proverbs, Psalms, um, yeah, Proverbs, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. So my coffee cup says, guys, the coffee's great, but and the cup's great, but scripture's even better. So, <clears throat> be his voice. For the born and the unborn. So, want to contact me? Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com. Let's Google Jesus is alive in America. You can find us. Um, <clears throat> I do have a website that I want to, yeah, I'm trying to start as a blog page, so I really could use some help there. Send me, you know, contact me. I can send you, you know, how to, I don't even know exactly how to do it, but I get you hooked up onto it. There's so many things, guys, that it's just time for us to rise and shine as his people. Be the truth, the light to this world. We've drifted pretty far. That's why the Bible says, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, turn from our wicked ways. <clears throat> Seek his face. Put that on my Facebook feed. David Wilkerson has passed away seeking his face. It's a pretty pretty powerful message, guys, but there's others too out there that are still alive that are still ministering that truth right now. And there's some that have passed away that have been ministered that have ministered the truth most of their lives, or as much of it as they knew possibly how to. <clears throat> a lot of it out there, even in the midst of of a lot of garbage. That's why it says try the Spirit to see if it's the Spirit of the Lord. He's giving you the Spirit of discernment. He's giving you the Holy Ghost as a comforter. It's not, and it's also to clear your mind and to make you see things rightly. The world is going to twist it into, oh, you're a judge. I would rather be a judge and separate the Word of God and know the truth and then all this other polluted, deluded truth. All this inclusion even to the point of delusion. So yes, be his voice, but be the right voice. So we have to know what he wants us to do, guys, and be his voice in this lost and dying world. So, you know, email me, blog, uh, comment, I wanna hear from you guys. Um, the last one I'm going to end with is, this was just Isaiah 52, 2 through 8, was highlighted a couple days ago. Um, I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to read with this one part, or several parts, real quick. And then I am going to end.
How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who proclaims peace, who brings glad tidings tidings of good things, who proclaim salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Your watchmen shall lift up their voices. With their voices they shall sing together, for they shall see eye to eye. <clears throat> kind of where I'm at, guys. I'm just directional. I just happen to be a watchman. Um, can't change it. Won't change it. Don't want to change it. But I am bringing it to the Lord because the things that he's showing me, it's like, okay, God, I want to do it right. And what I'm telling you is he wants you to do it right too, righteous and holy and pure and acceptable and clean. So be his voice, but be his true voice, guys. Whether it's to the world, you could be a stay-at-home mom and those children, and you could be the voice to those children. To be a single mom, a single dad. I don't know, guys. You could be. There's a really good, a really good friend of ours. Just be, in the spirit, I don't know him personally that well, but one of his, you know, it doesn't have to be a soapbox that we stand on, guys. But he, but he has mantles for all of us, purpose. So walk into it, step into it, be his voice. Love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. Uh, like I said, just you know, email me, um, blog with me. Um, got several books out, nothing to do with the books. If you, you know, just email me with the, but the one book, Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. Uh, we're his choice to be his voice. We were his glory guys. When Jesus lives in you and he wants us to be in this lost and dying world in a sinful, sick world. I'll get you a free copy if you want. You can find it on Amazon. Just email me. I got it. I got it on or I can just Email you a version of it. Um, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Just be true. And be his voice.